What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movies slash TV show vehicles using cars and GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next. I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars. So again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles and also the suggestions for these as well. So, in today's video, we're going to be building Jesse Pinkman's 1982 Chevy Monte Carlo from the TV show Breaking Bad. The car made multiple appearances throughout the show, and if you've seen the show Breaking Bad, this is definitely a fun one to recreate. Now, the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the Faction Custom, which is available from the Benny's website for $36,000. However, the custom conversion cost to turn it into a lowrider is over 300000 But regardless, you're still under 400000 into the base price of a Benny's car, which honestly I think is pretty good, all things considering. Now, alternatively, you can also use the Tahoma Coupe, which is based on the Monte Carlo. However, that one is too old of a model, being based on the 3rd gen Monte Carlo, when the one from Breaking Bad was based on a 4th gen Monte Carlo. Now the Faction is based on the second gen Buick Regal, which is built on the same chassis and most of the same components of the fourth gen Monte Carlo, which is why they look so similar in their greenhouse area and some other details as well. But honestly, you can't go wrong with either one since the grill and chrome trim is a bit more accurate on the Tahoma. But currently the Tahoma has no Benny's upgrade, which means no hydraulics. So I think the Faction Custom is the best compromise in this case. If we ever get a Benny's upgrade for the Tahoma Coupe in the future, I would say that one would probably be a bit closer, but again, for now, I am using the Faction Custom. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for Jesse Pinkman's Monte Carlo. Alright, Jesse's Monte Carlo, let's do it. Okay, so first you want to put on the Faction Custom Benny's Upgrade. You can do this at Benny's or, of course, your CEO office garage, which is, which is where I'm at right now. So 335000 on top of the actual, you know, purchase price of the car. Still under 400 k all in. It's not too bad, especially when you compare it to the price of a lot of the newer cars and even the Tahoma Coupe, which is over a million dollars. So, all right, install that there. So there we are. We got the hydraulics and everything super cool. So as usual for these builds, I do full armor, max performance mods and all that, so we'll do that. Okay, so engine block. Now I've looked everywhere online and I can't seem to find any photos of the actual engine bay of this car. The current car sits at a museum, a Rusty's car museum, uh, but they, I, I guess they haven't taken a photo of the engine bay or cared to. I mean, if I was there, I'd be taking pictures of every single detail in that car, but... <laughs> <laughs> only, there's, there's barely any pictures online of it, even though it's sitting in a museum that's available to visit by the public. But um, anyways, I guess we have to make some assumptions here in that case. And usually most picture cars, you know, most cars used in movies and TV shows, they only care about the exterior um, from like 20, 30 feet away. <laughs> they, they don't care much about the, um, the, the parts that you don't see, like the engine bay. So I would assume, I'm about 99% sure that the engine bay of this car is probably mostly stock. So if we look at a stock engine bay photo here of a 1982 Monte Carlo, um, I think we can sort of try to replicate that. Uh, now, um, the the stock engine engine bay in, in this car, it's, it's really terrible. The texture quality is like 2013. So honestly, I think it's worth upgrading the block here as you can see when you put one of these options, even though you might be a little less accurate. Um, I think it's worth putting either the painted covers or the um, the chrome ripped covers in here. So I'm just going to throw the chrome ripped covers because almost everybody that had these cars back then was putting chrome valve covers on them. So might as well. Air filters. Uh, we're going to stick to like the stock look. So the closest out of all of these you can see here um, would be the chrome air filter. Just a simple one. They have a single. Engine tunes will max out. Exhaust. Now the real car, the exhaust is kind of hidden, you really can't see it from the back, and that's because it kind of comes out to the side, sort of like the faction here, but it's a bit more what subtle. Um, so I think the best thing to do here is um, choose the last option, which I think kind of has like a similar 
um, angled cut to it. I think that's definitely going to be the closest there. Um, hood, cow induction, well, not, well, power bulge hood. Yeah, you don't want this. You want to keep it stock. You want the smooth hood like the real one. Hydraulics. Um, now, this one, it already comes with the hydraulics. These are just like upgrades to make it bounce higher and the right height to sit higher. You don't have to do this. It's up to you. Um, but I guess I'll just put the first option. I think that's a nice balance um, in terms of like the right height, but you really don't need this. Save your money if you want and just stick with the stock, but um, I'm just going to put this one just so I have a little bit more with the hydraulics. Interior. So trim design. Um, you can see all these options here. The car pretty much had a stock brown <laughs> interior, even though it was gray in the first season, but then in the second season, they actually used a different car uh, with a brown interior. So yeah, um, but in, in general, you want to stick with the, the stock interior. That's going to be the closest. And then you just want to change the, crimp col the trim color uh, to some type of brown. So I'm going to go with, um, let's see here, where was it? It was the, the bison brown to me is going to be the closest to the real one. So we're going to do that. Um, ornaments. Um, the car did have lucky dice hanging from the rearview mirror, but it didn't have anything like this, so we'll skip that. Now, in terms of the dials, uh, the car, I mean, it just had stock Monte Carlo dials, so you could probably get away with um, just uh, picking either stock, or if you want to get rid of some of the yellow that we have here up top, um, I would probably say maybe the plain Jane negative would probably be the closest there. Steering wheel, the car just had a stock Monte Carlo steering wheel, nothing special. I've gone through all of these, and I think the closest is still going to be the stock because it actually has, you know, the brown, like the, the interior matching color around it. So we'll keep that. Column shifters. The car did have a column shifter, uh, but it was a normal column shifter, not any of these special ones. However, as a reference to the lucky dice hanging from the rearview mirror, I'm going to put a lucky dice column shifter. I think that's a nice reference there. So. We'll do that. Plaques. So these are the ones back here. Now the car did have the raised fist back here um, in the in the show, but we, we don't have anything similar to that here. Um, maybe one of these, San Andreas initials or something, but it's just not close. Uh, it's fully up to you. I'd say maybe just in shape from like 100 feet away, maybe the, the San Andreas initials might look somewhat close, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to skip this for now. Um, here we got the speaker shelves. Um, the car pretty much just had stock speakers, nothing really too special. These look a bit too custom. I think the square ones look a bit more like stock looking, so I guess we'll do that. Light color, it was just white, nothing really special. So we'll just keep the silver. I think the white is too bright. Yeah, we'll keep the silver there. Lights, you want to keep those stock. Liveries, you want no livery for this car. Plates. Okay, so plate frame. So the real car had a plate frame that said something about saving a tree, something along those lines. Um, it was just like some font below. And the only one that has anything kind of similar to that here is like the low and slow plate, the chrome one. So I guess we're going to do that there. Vanity plate. The car did have a plate out front, um, and we can't remove it with any of these options. So I guess we'll just stick with stock. Uh, here we got the license plate. We already have the frame. Now, in terms of the actual car, um, it had the, the cap and plate, T-H-E space C-A-P-N. So for those of you who want to re replicate that, that's like super, super iconic kind of part of that car. Um, and it had like the yellow background. I would say probably blue and white one would be the closest to that. So I guess we'll do that there. Unfortunately, Rockstar still hasn't given us the website at the time of this recording, you know, to make custom plates. That's probably going to be for the next DLC at this point. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with the stock and generic text there for now. Respray. So this one's a bit controversial. Um, I've seen so many people use a, bu a bunch of different colors. I've seen them use lava red. I've seen them use um, blaze red or just random reds with like an orange pearl or something. That was just the lighting of the show. And also, um, like the car was mostly dirty in the show, like with dust on it and stuff, which they did on purpose. Um, if you look at the car that's sitting in the museum, it's actually clean. 
that gives you a better representation of what the color is actually supposed to look like. Um, so to me, the closest without doing any special hexes or anything is going to be a grace red, which is this one right here, grace red, and then pearlescent, you're going to throw on here, go all the way down here to a candy red. To me, this is going to be the closest. The real card kind of had like that nice candy flake metallic look in it. Um, I think that's going to be the closest there. Secondary color, you're just going to make it match. Go down here to grace red. Now, it might look a bit dark in here, but when you go outside in direct sunlight, you'll see it's like very, very similar, almost spot on. Um, trim color we already did, which is the bison brown. Okay, roof, you want to leave the stock because these are just like the T-top options, so you want to keep the, the stock painted roof there. Transmission, trunk. So, um, the trunk of this car was actually empty in the show. Uh, there wasn't really anything special back here, it was just stock. So I, I, I don't see a reason to spend money on any of these options here. You're better off just leaving it stock, so we'll do that. Turbo, the car did not have a turbo, so we're going to skip that so we don't have a turbo sound. Wheels. Now, the stock wheels are pretty much spot on. Um, however, the real one did have uh, like some red accents in there, sort of like on the inner barrel um, and a little bit on the, uh, the sort of like knockoff as well. So I think low rider, stock, and then go down here to the um, big worms. Yeah, the big worm, that's going to be the closest. And we're gonna paint the spokes in red. You can see that's that's pretty pretty close. I mean, obviously it's not identical. You could probably go all chrome too. That's also an option. You just go to lowrider chrome, um, then big worm. That's also an option. But I think with the um, those with the red, I think really it's, it's really what it needs. I think it works very very well with it. Um, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do there for the red reference. Again, it's not identical, but it's like the closest we have. Throw the white walls on there, and it's perfect. It looks awesome. Um, windows. So the car didn't have any tints. Um, I looked thoroughly through the show and screenshots and everything. No tints at all. If you want to hide a little bit in here, you can probably do light smoke, but I think it's just too dark. Um, so you're better off sticking with, with stock there. And that's all the options. All right. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive here. Exit to ground. Thing looks so cool. I mean... If, if you've seen the show, or at least pieces of the show, you see this driving around, and, I mean, with the red on the wheels and the white walls, and you know it's Jesse, Pink's, uh, Jesse Pinkman's Monte Carlo. I mean, it's just obvious. Look at that. Yeah, that color, spot on. It looks perfect. Absolutely love that. And this is without any mods or hex colors or anything. I mean, this is a base texture, too. It looks phenomenal. The hydraulics up here, that's sick. Absolutely love that. Now the exhaust note, it's pretty much the, they just copied and pasted the monster truck exhaust note, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Floor it here. Now this car is pretty slow, you know, it's not that fast, especially since we're also missing the turbo upgrade. Um, even maxed out, it's around the pace of like the Vapid Ellie, which is a really slow car, so. Yeah, it's a cruiser. I think our low and slow plate frame kind of uh, definitely goes with the vibe. Of this car but it's a cruiser it's not meant to go fast or anything it's, it's meant to just cruise around especially in it's a lowrider form um, even though the base car is mainly based on the Grand National which is actually a really fast car so I wish Rockstar would have made maybe the regular one like insanely fast and then this one kept it like the speed that would have been kind of cool but oh stupid rapid GT but yeah I, I'm floored by the way this is <laughs> this is what it's doing floor. <laughs> Definitely a cruiser. Very, very, very turtle slow. We're floor. I haven't let off the gas. <laughs> it's just really slow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, first person here. Got the lucky dice there. Now, I'm sure the lucky dice was red, you know, but hey, it's a reference. It's a reference. Brown interior and all. Yeah, again, you can also use the Tahoma, but the Tahoma can't do this, at least as of yet. <laughs> the hydraulics, and the general shape is the same, because it was built like the same platform. Um, so, yeah. Alright, let's um, 
take a few more corners here and I'm gonna pull over in a parking lot so we can open all the doors and stuff. I mean, there really isn't much to discuss about this car, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a Benny's lowrider, it's not, not very fast. It does look great though, I will admit. Alright, vehicle doors, let's go all, engine bay we already customized there, oh it's got red in there too, like the primary color goes to like the bottom part of the block, that's kind of cool. Okay. The, the, <laughs> the texture quality of the engine model itself is good, but then you just look at what's around it and they just like placed it in a sea of terrible texture quality. <laughs> Very weird the way they did that. Interior looks great. Yeah, that's one thing about the Benny's cars that's weird. It has a shifter down here, but it doesn't delete it when you put the column shifter. That's just really annoying. So you got two shifters. Put it in drive up here, then put it in park down there. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I don't know why they, they don't delete that when you do when you do the uh, that option. But here's the trunk area. Yeah, unfortunately, Tugo can't kidnap Waltz and Jesse and throw them back here because the hydraulics are in the way. So <laughs> maybe the stock would be closer. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's Jesse Pinksman's um, Monte Carlo using the Faction Custom again. You can use a Tahoma Coupe. But to me, just the general shape of this one is closer because the Tahoma is based on a Monte Carlo that's just a generation older. Um, I think this just works better, especially with the hydraulics. Now, if Rockstar gives us a Benny's variant of the Tahoma in the future, um, I would probably say then that one would be technically a little closer than, than this one. But currently, all things considering, I think this is the one. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know what movie slash TV show build you want to see me customize next down below in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.